If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Uh, aloha everybody, my name's Maria. What's your name? Hi. What's your name? Micah. Uh, we are going to make breakfast fried rice. Yeah. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, where's the cauliflower? No, I never really got into the cauliflower rice thing. I always use more protein for my faux rice. rice. And we are going to use, actually, eggs. So cry. I want you to crack the eggs. Maybe Micah can help you. Crack them into there. You could just put the empty shells on the table. And I'm going to use bacon. Um, you could use uh, beef bacon if you're pork free. Or you could use ham. But I'm going to, where did my thing go? Here it is. You're going to start with a pan, and you're going to fry the bacon. So a cow. OK, thanks, bud. Woo! Now, this is really like a delicious recipe. What you want to have is a whisk. A whisk is really cheap, a few bucks. I use my whisk many times a week. It's totally worth picking up a whisk. And you're going to fry the bacon to your liking. We like some crispy bacon, don't we? Can you put the eggs in the there? We'll keep the mise en place real nice and neat. Do you know what mise en place is? No. Your cooking area. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh. You guys are fast at that. Man, you are egg cracking machines. If you haven't, you should try my bulletproof coffee or bulletproof ice cream recipe where they crack eggs. Remember when you are real little? You are singing, um, I don't Christmas know, a Christmas Ray. song? Yeah, Rudolph or something. Rudolph the Reindeer. Nose Reindeer. Now that the bacon is cooked and we got our exercise in, um, I'm going to remove the bacon with a slotted spoon or whatever spoon you have. Leave the drippings in the pan because um, you're going to use that to make your eggs. All right. So. Uh, you got the eggs in there? Not yet. Not no no not I'm yet. Looking if there's any children. So I have the bacon reserved for the garnish. Now into the there's eggs. Oh, that's okay, bud. That's all right. I see it. It's out. We are going to add the onions and some garlic. We want a fried rice. Oh, this is going to turn it white. What's that? In the last video, it was like poppy. Oh, I turned it way down. So I'm just going to start softening the garlic and the onion. Um, you always want to do that before. It's best to do the onion first for about a minute and then add the garlic. But in the midst of time, we are just doing it both. All right, so we're frying that up in the bacon grease. Meanwhile, that fries. I'm going to add this coconut oil, coconut milk to the egg mixture. And I'm Mix going to up. add two tablespoons of beef broth. You could use chicken broth if you want to, or pork broth. And uh, we're going to add our salt, a little bit of salt. And oh, I know what I'm missing. You could use organic tamari sauce. This is wheat free, but it does have soy. If you can't do soy, you can use coconut aminos. However, coconut aminos are very high in carbohydrates, and we can do fine with our organic tamari sauce. You guys eat sushi all the time, don't you? Ah. All the time with their daddy. If you want, you could add a little bit of ginger, but um, I don't have any ginger out right now. It's in the freezer. I have ginger there all the time. And I'm going to use my whisk, and I'm going to add this mixture to the pan, and you're going to whisk like this. And as it cooks, the whisk is going to make little pieces of rice. We're going to turn that way up. Get the chow. It's so interesting, and it works great for a base. Like if you do my bourbon chicken, if you haven't made my bourbon chicken, man, it is a game changer. I don't even like chicken, and that recipe is fantastic. I had the great opportunity to go down to New Orleans, New Orleans, and um, make bourbon chicken in the Swerve Kitchen. Um, people just absolutely love it. I get tagged on Instagram on it like every single day. Oh no, it shut off, it unplugged. So let's start this back up on, there we go. 
So you see the little pieces of rice forming, boys? Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna keep whisking. And it's just like a texture thing. I think this tastes way better than rice. Not that I've had rice in a while, but what rice doesn't taste like anything. Blah, 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 blah. And actually, also, guys, you can follow mom on Instagram. On Instagram? Do I post too many cute baby pictures, though? Uh -huh. Sometimes people probably unfollow because I'm always posting pictures of these cute cuties rather than, like, I don't know. Actual, like, cooking. Actual like, cooking yeah. stuff. I know. So you just keep whisking and whisking, and we have little pieces of rice forming. It's just delicious. It's a great way to get your protein in. Eggs are like a perfect protein because they're a one-to-one -one ratio protein to fat. Not too high in fat, right? Not too high in protein. It's like perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, I think we're pretty much done. Let me turn that off. What was this guy? And, oh yeah, in the end, I'm gonna put this, and you can see, like, this is just like small pieces of rice little tiny pieces of rice and then you can garnish it with red pepper flakes and the baking can go right on top too when you serve it i'm going to go easy on the red pepper flakes because you know what? what i'm german germans don't like spice maybe some of you germans do but i do not so anyway this is my breakfast fried rice it's delicious you could add a little bit more soy sauce if it, you want to subscribe um, subscribe Mikey. what do you want to say Hit the like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Mahalo, everybody. Mahalo. Sharing is caring. Share this video with your friends.